Today we're going to talk to you about one of the palms that uh, a lot of people like. Uh, it's a, I call a waggy palm. This is a Trachycarpus wagnerianus. Um, these are palms that uh, uh, people believe originated in Japan. Uh, it's not something that's seen in the wild, but uh, it's something that uh, uh, has been cultivated. Uh, these palms are uh, cold hardiness and the way they grow are very similar to the Trachycarpus fortunae, which we have one right here, a small one. But the uh, Wagnerianus, the fronds, as everybody knows, are, are the main way that you can uh, distinguish between the palms. Uh, these palms uh, have the stiff leaves that uh, they never uh, uh, droop unless you bend them or, or do something forcibly to them to break them. Uh, you can always tell the Wagnerianus, uh, a good test is just to push down on the end of the fronds. You can see they just, they do not bend over. Uh, you can give them pretty good force and uh, uh, they stay upright. Uh, they take snow fairly well. Uh, they can take probably two or three inches of snow on them without hurting them too bad. If you have more than five or six inches of snow, it could uh, break some of the fronds at the at the trunk, but uh, uh, that's about the only damage they would see. Uh, they're cold hardy probably to, uh, in the same, the fronds are cold hardy to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, below that, the whole palm is probably the same as a Fortuni, probably in the five to 10 Fahrenheit range. You're, you're starting to risk uh, the palm uh, being damaged or killed. And just like the Fortuni palms, it's best to protect it, uh, the crown area during the winter from ice and that sort of thing. That's the main thing that uh, hurts these palms is, is can uh, cause rot in there when the, uh, in spring when it warms up, the damaged tissue will, will rot in the spiral pool. But other than that, these are great palms to have. They grow a little smaller than uh, Fortunii because I think because the fronds are smaller, it's just not as aggressive a growing palm. And so thus it just doesn't grow uh, quite as fast as the Fortunii's do. But uh, they'll end up getting, uh, you know, in maybe 10 to 15 years, you're gonna have a palm that's in the 10 to uh, plus range, foot range, uh, depending on its growing conditions. You can grow these palms in either shade or sun. Um, I don't think it makes a lot of difference as long as they, they get a lot of water. Uh, these palms, just like the Fortunii, are fine with getting tons of water in summer. Um, and a lot of people just like the look because they like the the stiff leaved, stiff fronds on the on these palms. Uh, you can see we just potted up one in one of our other videos here. So they make a good potted specimen as well. You can keep them you know, quite a few years in a pot. Uh, in a pot, you would in a larger size pot like this, you could need to bring it in if temperatures. Uh, go below 20 or 25 degrees depending on how cautious you want to be in a smaller pot i would always bring these in if temperatures get under 25 or if uh, you're expecting a lot of uh, snow or ice just to make sure that these uh, you don't get the crown rot because uh, one in a pot just doesn't grow as fast as in the ground and it just not as able to recover from a spear pull uh, and the rot that can occur from that, that cold damage in the crown. And uh, uh, in the cold, you're gonna get, these pots are gonna, uh, the roots wrap around the outside here. And that's the first thing that's gonna get cold. And these roots are, do not like to be uh, cold. Uh, 
uh, you know, the root damage is going to occur uh, when temperatures get down in the in the teens on these roots, and uh, um, you just don't want that to happen. Uh, just to show you a little bit of variability and show you why everybody likes the fronds, some of the uh, Fortunii can have this floppy frond characteristic where they droop like this palm and some people like that look some people don't uh, we have fortuny eyes that uh, that have both types of fronds we have some that have stiffer fronds like this one that are that are fairly stiff but you can see they're they're a lot bigger than the waggy palm you can see on these fronds if you push them you do too much to them they'll bend right there and the waggy palms just won't do that but uh, but these particular uh, palms have a little bit stiffer leaves fronds here's a there's another one that tends to have stiffer fronds but uh, your waggy palm will always have the short stiff fronds it'll grow a little slower uh, it has about the same uh, cold hardiness as a fortunii and uh, if you want it for a little bit smaller area where the fronds don't uh, go out quite as big and uh, looks a little bit more uh, formal then uh, this is the palm you need to get they're a little hard to get a hold of so uh, uh, especially with the pandemic here uh, they're hard to find but if you can find one of these growing up they're a very good palm so that's it for today. So we'll talk to you guys later.